Welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of effective analysis of KVD data for intrusion detection, that is C, the abstract of our process. An intrusion detection system is a device or software application that monitors network or system activities for malicious activities or policy violations and produces reports to a management station. Some systems may attempt to stop an intrusion attempt, but this is never required nor expected of a monitoring system. Intrusion detection and prevention systems are primarily focused on identifying possible incidents, logging information about them, and reporting attempts. In this project, we apply a normal fuzzy rule in KDE dataset for efficient network intrusion detection. Let us see the flow of our process. We take KDE dataset and extract the data from dataset. And we are applying pre-processing that is eliminating the missing data. After pre-processing, we are going to store it into the database. After storing this data into the database, we are getting the data from database and we are applying fuzzy membership function. We are getting the attributes, the continuous attributes and discontinuous attributes. And after applying the fuzzy membership function, we are having the linguistic terms and uh, some terms. After getting these terms, we are applying the fuzzy membership values. We are calculating these fuzzy membership values. After the fuzzy membership values, we are extracting the rule and we are displaying it to classify the normal users and intruders. So after the extraction, we will have a fuzzy value. In this project, we are using the source bytes and destination bytes to classify the normal and intruders, normal users and intruders. So after getting the fuzzy value from these source bytes and destination bytes, the rules are extracted by as low value and high value. Using those low values and high values, we are classifying the normal and intruders. And after classifying the normal users and intruders, we are drawing a decision tree by using those values that we got from the pro extraction. So for normal users, we'll have a set of values in the decision tree and for uh, intruders, we'll have set of values in the decision tree. So here the decision tree is drawn based on the fuzzy value that we calculated by applying those fuzzy membership functions and uh, we are classifying those normal users and intruders using that fuzzy values. So finally we are getting a decision tree and we efficiently classify the normal users and intruders from the KDE dataset using fuzzy values by applying the fuzzy rules. Let us see the execution of our process. Open the project in NPINS and open these packages. Click on dataset.java and run file. This window will be opened. Click on show data. Before executing the project, we need to start fan server. Click show data. Here the data is viewed for us and we apply the Processing. So uh, we are having the duration, protocol type, source, flag, source bytes, destination bytes, login status, and uh, the guest uh, host login status and the class. Click on feature election. So here we are using some features, I mean some attributes. So after removing the data which is not the voice and uh, we are having now only the important attributes in the data set. So click on membership function. Here we remove three attributes. So as we, if we compare here uh, we are having logged in, host log and guest log and now we are not having any those uh, attributes. We are just having only eight, seven columns here. Click on member function. Now we are going to calculate the binary attribute, symbolic attribute, continuous attribute and then we are going to calculate the fuzzy values. Click on binary attribute. These are the binary attributes in our data set. So 
after uh, calculating the binary attributes click on symbolic attributes so this is the symbolic attributes using these attributes uh, the data are transferred um, this is the protocol type what type of data and whether it is a uh, private or public or something and uh, the type of jobs here we specified it this is the symbolic attribute click on continuous attribute so this is the continuous attributes these are the bytes that is sent and received so these bytes will be um, continuously changed so we are having these bytes as the continuous attribute click on fuzzy values now we are going to calculate the linguistic terms and then fuzzy membership values click on linguistic terms so these terms are used to calculate the fuzzy value here we are having source bytes and destination bytes and using the source byte and destination byte we are calculating the fuzzy values and click on fuzzy membership so here we are calculating the source bytes and destination bytes and uh, the fuzzy state so uh, depends upon the fuzzy value we are uh, and uh, depends upon the source bytes and the fuzzy value difference we are uh, having the fuzzy state as low or high so uh, click on rule extraction now so we are going to extract the rules for intruders and normal users click on intruders so here what are all the attributes we will have to extract the rules is protocol source destination fuzzy value and fuzzy state and the class is low for intruders click on normal values the same attributes but with different fuzzy value and different class so here we are having high and some uh, values okay, the fuzzy value and class low and high so click on extract the rules so here we are going to extract the rules for normal users and intruders so uh, this is the id and this is the rule the protocol type and the value if the value is greater than the fuzzy value source bytes then it will have it as low we are going to compute compare the source bytes and fuzzy values if the source bytes or uh, the fuzzy sorry if the fuzzy value is greater than the source byte it will be high otherwise it will be low and uh, um, the low process the low rules for normally classes and uh, click on uh, normal users if it is high it will be the normal rules and it is for normal users click on decision tree to draw a decision tree for uh, these classification click on decision we are taking decision using the fuzzy rules um, the fuzzy rule here we are having the values without repetition so these are the values and uh, this is after shorting and uh, without repetition and these are the normal uh, user values here we are having some uh, repetitions and uh, it is not in normal order so we are shorting it and uh, removing the repeated values and now we are going to draw the decision tree and now it is a decision tree here the class we are having the, norm, uh, the common attribute as class in this class we are classifying it as normal rules and intruders so we are computing the, these values based on this rule the fuzzy value is greater than the source bytes then we will have these types of values and it will be the normal users normal rules and if the fuzzy value is less than source bytes then we will have these uh, values and it will be the intruders rule and they are the intruders and hence we effectively use the kdb data set and apply the fuzzy rules and fuzzy membership functions to identify and classify the normal and intruders the normal users and intruders and finally we draw the decision tree after classification and after applying the fuzzy, fuzzy rules thanks for watching